Marcy Ock, and this is Super Cool Blitzer C810 Warthog. It's a twin 64mm ducket fan jet. We added two Grayson Hobby Mike Pro Jets to it as well. So overall this thing has four motors on it. And it's amazing to fly with four motors. The reason that we had to put four motors on it because it was because of the landing gear. We tore the original landing gear right off this plane. After we tore up the stock landing gear, we built some of our own. It's made of aluminum. And this landing gear is this fixed landing gear. It didn't fold up or back. So when we came off to hit the lip of our landing strip at our hill, it would just like rip off. Consequently, that we start, tore up the landing gear so many times that the, the wing got damaged. So every time we tore off the landing gear and the wing, we have to hot glue it back together. So if we crash this plane any more times, it's gonna be a blob of hot glue. So then we lost our symmetry on it. Like a butterfly's wing are always symmetrical, um, and this plane was the total opposite. We had an extra aileron, aileron surface too. more power so we added the motors. Today we took out for a spin and we actually lost the wheel. Probably like cracked in half. It's funny how we lost it but the landing gear broke as well. You see it went in here. As you can see the difference on our FA-18 we built retractable landing gear. So when it hits the ground it can just roll back. And this is handmade by my dad and me. And this is really working good. It's saving this airplane. So we're thinking of doing the same thing with our A10 Warthog. Oh, we're thinking of we're putting putting collapsible landing gear on this, but then there's a problem of propellers. This is an interesting engineering problem. If the wheel up front collapses too far, the propellers will drag. And then we'll have to change the propellers, change the propellers, change the propellers. So if we make collapsible landing gear, we have to make sure that the propellers do not drag because they're just like, up, like five millimeters away from the ground. So if we make collapsible landing gear, we have to design it so the propellers do not drag. Bye bye, never reach it off.